As the newly appointed CEO of a critically significant organization, your primary agenda is to establish a new production facility to continue the manufacturing of your crucial product. The proposed site is promising, the architectural designs have been finalized, and the construction team is prepared to commence work. However, an impediment has arisen due to the energy crisis plaguing the country, as a result of various international incidents, resulting in electricity costs exceeding your initial estimates. In light of this, urgent action is required to procure carbon-neutral energy sources. But the one thing you definitely wouldn't choose to do is build a nuclear power station, right? The construction of a nuclear power station is a significant undertaking, as demonstrated by the Hinkley Point C project, which is currently under construction in southwest England. This project, the first nuclear power station built in the UK in decades, was announced in 2010 but did not begin construction until seven years later. Due to several anticipated delays, the plant is not expected to become operational until 2028, with a staggering cost of £32 billion being borne by a multinational consortium of French and Chinese companies. The high cost of such a project can be attributed to plants like Hinkley Point, designed to provide utility-scale power to millions of homes, necessitating a massive plot of land and a construction project. However, if a nuclear power station were to be built on a smaller scale, such as for powering a single factory, it could be more affordable and easily scalable. The ability to construct these power stations on a production line could further increase efficiency and cost-effectiveness. Last Energy, a US startup, aims to transform the nuclear industry through standardization. While the oil and gas sector has employed modularization and standardization techniques for over two decades, the nuclear industry has yet to follow suit. Last Energy's core innovation is introducing a Lego-like kit of standardized modules to the nuclear industry to address its long-standing challenges of time and cost to deploy. The Last Energy model is based on a single standard design for all components, starting with a typical 20-megawatt pressurized water reactor. While this type of reactor is utilized by approximately 300 power stations worldwide, Last Energy distinguishes itself by manufacturing all other necessary elements in a Texas-based factory, such as turbines, cooling fans, and a control room. Once completed, a housing is constructed to contain all components, and the entire package is shipped to the desired site. The key advantage is that everything fits into a standard shipping container and can be transported anywhere in the world. The deployment of the Last Energy's modular nuclear power stations requires minimal on-site construction as the kit of parts is prefabricated and shipped to the site. The station is laid out on prefabricated steel trusses after digging a trench for the foundations, which makes it faster and easier to deploy, even though it might be slightly more expensive than traditional concrete structures. These compact plants, designed to supply energy to small factories or data centers, can be easily expanded by constructing more plants next to each other to generate additional power when required. The energy can be delivered directly to the end user or routed through a national energy grid. The lifespan of each plant is around 40 years, and every six years, a new reactor module is installed with fresh fuel to keep the power station operating, like adding a new battery. The first power plant is expected to come online in 2025, with plans to scale up production thereafter. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe to Wonderful Stories. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.